Happy Canada Day! I'm doing another little quick video here. This one is to uh, show off my bike, really. Here's my flag again. Happy Canada Day! Woohoo! Okay, so this is my bike. I gave a brief presentation earlier on vibrations. <clears throat> and now I'm just going to show off my bike. <laughs> so uh, this is it, okay? Um, your kit comes with the gas tank comes with the motor it comes with the carburetor not attached there's your clutch clutch cable which needs to be attached there's a chain here that mounts after you've put on this sprocket uh, this sprocket is a real pain in the butt to get on there you need nimble fingers and patience lots of it and that mounts onto the back wheel and you have a chain tensioner, which um, were the first bolts that failed. And I put some brand new ones. These are all grade eight and uh, they're tough as nails and uh, probably tougher. Uh, you get this little uh, exhaust here, which uh, doesn't really quiet the bike down much, but it does clean it up. I added this pipe here, <coughs> which threads through and goes along here. And the only reason I really did that is because it's a two-stroke and it puts out a lot of smoke and when it was breaking it in you put more oil in it and uh, basically uh, the kickstand got covered in oil and the back wheel got covered in oil and the brakes were becoming ineffective so me and my friend we uh, made this piece up from an old piece of plumbing or air conditioning and it just carries the fumes out to the back so that I don't have to breathe them and I don't get grease all over my bike. Um, it's not much of an issue anymore now that I'm on standard uh, mix, uh, but uh, still, you know, it looks kind of cool. Uh, so you install that, and again, this is a Bush Pilot, and uh, you can't really read it because uh, the ignition is in the way. The ignition leads to your spark plug, and uh, You've got your little carburetor with the gas line that runs to your gas tank. You've got to install the pitcock. I put uh, I put these little locks on there. They don't come with the kit. I uh, I went and got those. I had to put a little extension over here on my throttle cable. Uh, it's really loose, and uh, this is how I get uh, all of the uh, all of the pull from uh, the carburetor. So yeah, and then I went and I put uh, this seat on. It's nice and wide and. Uh, it uh, doesn't put too much pressure and uh, it's nice and comfortable for my big butt. And uh, these are just some Nighthawk lights that I bought a few years back. They're old school, but they work. And because where the motor is, uh, there's no water bottle and there's no water bottle holder. So I custom mounted the battery to the front of the bike with uh, just some hose clamps. And uh, that worked out really fine. And you can see there's not, it's just a bike really. Uh, put some nice fenders on it, repainted them red. They were originally red, I left them that way. I uh, installed some shocks so that, uh, you know, get a little bit of comfort. And then uh, my friend came over yesterday and uh, this bike's really old. And what happened is, is that the, uh, the seat post got uh, jammed inside of here. I'm guessing that uh, it rusted or corroded itself into one chunk of metal so uh, he came over with his welder yesterday and we cut and re-welded the post back together so that it would lower it we got two inches out because uh, quite frankly I couldn't touch the ground um, I'm not that tall it was in more of a speed bike position before and now it's more of a cruising bike position it's actually a lot more comfortable I went ahead and twisted the uh, handlebars back a little bit so that it would be a little bit more comfortable a little bit more relaxed and then uh, there's the, of course, the cargo rack and a little basket on the side there for, you know, extraneous stuff once in a while. And I also have a ball. Uh, most people think that it's pretty funny um, and it is. <clears throat> it's freaking hilarious. Uh, I'll show you what I have over here. <coughs> Excuse me. But what I have over here is this piece of junk. <coughs> I got paid far too much for it. And the idea was just to be able to go shopping with it. Excuse the bad camera work there. I got to use both hands. And uh, this is an old child carrier, actually. 
if you can believe somebody put their kids in here at one point. Gonna roll it out in the shade. And uh, yeah, it's really old school. It's an old cargo pla Norco plastic bucket. And uh, I would not put anybody's children in here. But um, when I bought it, the hitch was toast. It was gone. And uh, when I went online and in stores to look for some replacements, um, they wanted a hundred bucks. They were out of their minds. So after looking around, I found that if I just buy um, a hitch kit that you see here and a ball that I can mount on my cargo rack over there, I can pull this really well. And it's actually quite effective. I've used it once so far and uh, you don't even know the things there, uh, especially with the motor pulling. Uh, you just got to remember to take wide turns. And uh, instead of a hundred bucks, uh, it was uh, $25 for the hitch kit and uh, the ball itself. Which is great because having those things can be pretty handy to uh, get things done. Uh, I don't blame people for laughing at me. It's a pretty funny idea. But uh, what can I say? I'm cheap. I'm not willing to spend a hundred bucks on a specialty. See, all we did, all we did was drill a couple of holes up here and on these two sides. And we just bolted that sucker up and uh, the ball's right over here and it's just mounted to the back of the rack and uh, and we're golden it's uh, it's pretty funny I just mount it uh, oh, I just mounted right over here inside this space you can see the damage where that got bolted on there and uh, it pulls like crazy so uh, this is my bike. I call it the Hardly Pedalson. Not original, I know, but I like it anyway. And uh, I use it to go to work. It's awesome. Thanks for your time.